Welcome back to another episode of Whether or Not It's True. And oh man, is it getting hot outside or what? Well, I certainly broke a sweat working on today's topic, which is in fact all about heat. More specifically, heat index. Now you may recall that Kyle and I cracked into a myth about wind chill. Well, with the temperatures on the rise, I think it's time to remind everyone what heat index is. Let's go outside and see what people think about heat index. I showed them this, which is an equation for calculating heat index. What do you think that is? I believe it's a very, very large math problem for calculation the, the humidity in the air. That's really close. I gave you my best. <laughs> All right, so what if I told you that that was heat index? Oh, the humidity affects like how hot it feels. Clay Osterley does the best weather on the planet. Well, I'm flattered and thank you for watching Peggy, but heat index truly has nothing to do with me. Heat index is the common term used for the feel like temperature during the summer. It considers both air temperature and relative humidity. Here's a look at the heat index chart provided by NOAA. To explain it a little better, you can see that with temperatures like we had today in the mid and upper 80s, with a relative humidity value of 50 to 55%, it actually felt like it was in the lower 90s. Now, did you know that heat is the number one weather related killer in the United States and in the world? The reason that heat index is so dangerous is because with higher heat index values, the body loses its ability to evaporate sweat. As a result, the body can't cool itself down and you can experience heat exhaustion or heat stroke. To protect yourself from the heat, we typically recommend that you avoid outdoor activities during the direct sunlight hours between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you do have to be outdoors, then wearing loose fitting, light colored clothing can help you promote cooling and reflect the sun away from you. Remember that kids, the elderly, and pets are more vulnerable to heat, so make sure you keep an eye on them. And most importantly, stay hydrated by drinking plenty of water. Well, that's all the time that I have for this week. I'm forecaster Clay Osterley, and tune in next week as I answer for you whether or not it's true.